friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Cher. Today I have a very different episode than what you're used to seeing here. I typically vlog um, beauty, travel, that kind of thing. We're going to be doing a home improvement vlog today. I'm going to be completely redoing my countertops in my kitchen and I'm going to do it all using this DIY granite countertop kit. Yes, you heard that right. <laughs> it's essentially painting your countertops, but they provide you with a kit. It has like a sponge to make it do the little application to make it look like granite and you seal it. It looks like granite, I'm telling you. So I'm gonna be bringing you along with me as I do this process on my kitchen today and maybe some into tomorrow. I've actually done this process before. Um, my current countertops right now, I'll show them to you in a minute. They were done using a granite kitchen countertop um, and it turned out fabulous. So it's a wonderful, wonderful option if you really want that look of granite, you want a beautiful kitchen, you want to redo your kitchen, but you don't want to spend the price. You just, it's not in your budget to go buy real granite or for whatever reason you can't do granite. This is such an amazing affordable option if you have the patience. The last one that I did, it took about a weekend um, each day of, of painting. And I think I had to do it like overnight after kids went to bed. So nobody was using the kitchen. Um, but this one, it says it's a three day process. But when I was reading it, it looks like I think I could possibly pull it off in a day. I'm probably going to be having to spend about two days because I just, you know, I'll have to stop and go get kids and a doctor's appointment tonight and that kind of thing. Um, so I'm probably going to extend it for two days. But it's kind of one of those things where you do a step, you wait for it to dry. You do another step, wait for it to dry, that kind of thing. So I'm going to bring you along with me for the process and we're going to redo this kitchen, guys. So if that interests you, well, let's get started. So this is what my kitchen currently looks like. You can see that I have these granite looking countertops. This is a very high traffic area right by the coffee pot. That's where it's really starting to um, fade. Um, the spots that are a problem too tend to be right here around the dishwasher area. Also um, over here, okay, I need to do dishes. So don't look at my sink right now, but just you know, around the sink area, it's chipping you know, just a lot of these very high traffic areas. But as you go back into the corners here, you can see it's holding up really well because that's what's rarely ever touched. You know, over time it has started to peel and so that's why we are redoing them now. So a little backstory on the you know, these current countertops. So what I had done was I had ordered a granite kit about 10 years ago. It, so it's really hold, held up for a long time. They said it was supposed to last about three to five years. Well, it's been almost 10 years now. Um, so it has more than doubled the amount that they anticipated. So fabulous. I highly recommend it because it has just been amazing. It's really been durable. Now, I don't know if I got the same brand this time though on the granite kit. And so the reason I went with black before too was because at the time when we were redoing our kitchen, I, we only had white appliances and I wanted the beautiful, white cabinets and everything and I absolutely loved my blue like crystal backsplash it was like the, just the backsplash of my dreams I just loved it so much my parents really helped put together this kitchen um, I kind of designed it from what I wanted I had this vision and they brought it to life and it was wonderful but the counters were the area that I couldn't quite spend the money on because you're looking at thousands of dollars to replace granite right um so that's when I looked into this and what I had before was these like white like formica I don't remember I don't even know what material but they were very ugly <laughs> kitchen counters um but they were kind of like an off-white color and they just whoo they stood out like a sore thumb um, so I have a blue backsplash I'll show you in a minute and, and then we painted the walls this blue color and then everything else was white so what I really wanted was a white granite like marble countertop, but it just, at the time I didn't feel like it was gonna look right with all the white in there. So I ended up going with this black. This time though, I'm tired of the black, I want the white. And now I have stainless steel appliances, so it's not an issue. So it's just all is working out all together. And so I'm excited to get to bring you along with me. Really, it retails for like 150 bucks. And um, 
The one that I got, it was on Amazon, so I'm going to actually link it down below here in the caption for you if you're interested in this particular one. There's a couple different brands you can find on Amazon. I kind of wait for a day when you don't need to use your kitchen, and I'm going to have to lock my cats up that you've probably seen straying back and forth so they don't get into the paint too, so that's going to be fun. Uh, so come on along. We're going to dive right in. Okay, guys, here is the kit. When you open it up, it does have these instructions. So the only thing is it's talking about how it there's cardboard attached to practice on. There is no cardboard in here. There is also not a, a paint pan attached. So I, instead of going to the store and buying another paint pan, I don't feel like it. I made one of my own because <laughs> that's how I roll. And um, so it has different pieces. It does walk you through very easily. Step one, we're going to apply the black primer all over and it identifies everything. Like you have 3A, you have 2C. So it's all labeled as to like which one you're gonna use. It comes with this little sponge thingy that's gonna be helping apply the granite. We have another little sponge paint thingy and some rollers. It did come with this little roller. Um, so I'm just going to start following the instructions. You can see it looks pretty easy to follow. Hopefully it is. So I think this is what we start with is 1A and that is the black primer. Okay, and just so you know, it doesn't have a really strong bad paint smell, but it does have a little bit of a paint smell. Um, so just let me know, like in case you're wondering about that, like how you're able to handle it. God, I hate this roller. It will not stay on and it's making me scratch my countertops. It's really annoying me. Um, so I will say this roller is a pain in the ass. It is not working very well. You gotta like really keep it at a certain angle or it slips right off, see? I may end up going to the store after all and just getting a different roller that I can work with better because this is ridiculous. We got one top coat done. I haven't done the sides here yet though because the roller was going over all of this and then I'm gonna come in and get in all the little tight spaces with the smaller little sponge brush. So I'm gonna bring you along a little bit for that. This is a pain in the ass because that roller is terrible. So as far as a review goes on this so far, the roller, they need a different roller. It is horrific. It kept falling off and going everywhere. You can see my hands are like this because I had to sit there and hold the roller. You probably should do this with gloves. <laughs> Just saying. All right, so we're gonna move along to the spongy brush part. I'm basically gonna use this to come in and get in those little small places. All right, guys, we got round one of paint on. This is the paint primer. It is not perfect by any means. Um, it took me a good hour, hour and a half for this process, and now we're supposed to wait for two hours for it to dry. Going around the sink was whew, rough. Um, so yeah, just the smaller spots, that's where it gets really tedious and takes the longest, not the rolling. So we're gonna let this dry and I will check back in with you when it is time for the sponging part. Okay guys, I'm cheating a little bit. It has not been a full two hours. It's about an hour and 20 minutes, but they feel dry and I'm just, I'm on a time crunch. I want to get a little bit more done because otherwise I will not make it halfway through today. So I'd like to get at least close to halfway. So I want to finish this step. So our next step it said was to do 2A and I did notice in the instructions that did show people wearing gloves. So this is what happens if you don't wear gloves. But I'm already in it. I'm committed. We're doing it. All right. So this is one that you that you um, sponge on. They did not include the cardboard like they said they did to practice on. So I'm just going for it. So I'm going to pour this a little bit on a plate and dab the sponge into it. You may want to put your hair up too. And I'm just dunking it in. So let's see how this is going to work. All right, cool. 
I think they said you just want to kind of like thinly tap it on and just go all around and do the sponging. See, I think this is going to go a lot faster. I think the painting of the primer part was going to be the longest. That's what's going to take you the longest time. I think once you get to the sponging, it's going to be better. But then again, I haven't gotten to the tedious parts yet of having to put it back in all these little tight spaces again, so I don't know. Okay, so my tip with this is, guys, there's some areas where you're going to hit, like, a lot more than others, and it'll look a lot more splotchy. So just go in kind of, like, very light. Wherever you first hit the paint is going to be the most concentration, so you got to just kind of diffuse it all out. Um, sometimes it's hard, like, you know, when I get up here on the backsplash part, it can almost look like I've swatched it because I'm going so fast. You want to keep it with this dabbing motion so it has, like, the look of the holes in the sponge instead of, like, a swiped motion, you know what I mean? So that's just some of the, the challenges of this, but it's going a lot faster. But now I need to go back and hit, see how down in here you can't get to, like, these little small spots so i'm gonna break off like the tiniest bit of a sponge and go through it in all the little um small spots and fix it that way so that is my next step okay so i've got a little tiny piece of the sponge i just broke off and i'm just dabbing it in the white paint all right guys here she is round two is done we're gonna let it dry for an hour which is perfect because now I have to go run and get my kiddo. Um, but basically this part of the process, doing the little white part for step two, it took me 30 minutes total. That was to cover the whole counters and get into all these little nooks and crannies. But overall, it is looking so good. I'm getting really excited. Um, I'm hoping it's all gonna match. <laughs> it's looking a little gray right now, isn't it? All right, guys. So I will pick back up with you either later tonight or tomorrow evening time now so I am back at it even though I probably should not have had a shower I'm gonna put on like ratty clothes we're gonna try to do a couple more rounds or at least one more round so the next one is 2B and this is kind of a it's white but like this is more creamy white so I'm gonna throw some on the plate again and we're gonna start sponging yet again So according to the instructions this time, we kind of start really trying to fill in where the black spots are. So I guess we'll do that. Okay. Okay, here is the finished product. It's looking very white, isn't it? Like a big white cloud um yeah so now as you see i just got to go fill in these little small spots so i'm going to take the little sponge now for this part and we're going to finish up this round with the small spots okay so guys i just finished this round and this one was a little it did take a little longer um the reason is because i think i'm gonna be honest i think it's a lot harder to do one with white than it is the black last time because you can see all the little black crevices so you really see missed spots whereas if you're painting everything to do like the black granite you can kind of hide imperfections a little bit more I think but that black really shows through when you miss it so I had to go in and like really tediously fill in these little holes and it took forever so we're gonna let this dry I'm supposed to let it dry another hour um, this one took me probably uh, 45 minutes this time, 45, 50 minutes to do this round because I just, I had to go back in and really be tedious. And then we have one more round of paint of doing, um, sponging and you wait another hour for that and then you seal it. So I'm not sure if we're going to do, if we're going to finish that stuff tonight. Um, I'm kind of worn out. So we're probably going to finish those next two steps tomorrow. So I will see you then. Okay. I like guys. We're gonna do one more tonight. We're gonna do this last paint job tonight and then I'll definitely have to wait till tomorrow to seal it. So um, poor little kitties have been having to stay locked up 
so long <laughs> for me to do this. So, but we're gonna do the same drill. Pull that little eye paint. And this is pretty white again. I mean, it said fill in the holes again, like fill in the black holes. I don't want to fill in too many because I do want some of that black to show through, you know. So I'm really going to go over it more, especially as sponge-like as I can this time. Okay guys, here it is. Just letting that dry. All we have left is the seal. Once you get that seal on it, I think that's what's gonna make it pull off that granite look. So we'll see how it looks tomorrow. Good morning, day two. And we're just gonna seal this baby. I look like a hot mess. The last thing that we are gonna apply is 3A. And we have to go back to this crappy roller again to do this part. So the consistency of this is more like a clear white. Um, interesting. It almost looks like glue, in my opinion. Roll it all on. Okay guys, I am a little frustrated because, okay, I'm, I'm done with the roller part, but I'm down to where I need to do the sides and the roller is not cutting it for that. Not to mention the roller sucks, having the same problem as I did yesterday. Um, but I've already used the sponge brush from yesterday that got black paint on it, thinking I was done, but I wasn't, I guess. I really should use that. So you're gonna have to either make sure you wash that right afterwards or you're gonna have to get a different paintbrush. So I had to go find one of my paintbrushes and I'm gonna have to just use this to finish up the small tight spots, which I'm not happy about. <laughs> All right, we got the seal done. So now we wait. I haven't decided yet how I'm feeling. So a few thoughts so far. I don't know if it's just harder to do this with white or if the other kit that I had was just a better brand. I'm kind of going with, I think the other kit that I had was a better brand. I'm going to see if I can try to find the details on that one and link it down below for you also because that one was so good. <laughs> this one, I just don't feel like it has the same quality. Um, because I just, you know, it's like you almost, it looks like a cinder block from here, don't you think? Whereas with my black granite, it looked so, um, like granite when I got done. But the seal hasn't dried yet, so we're going to see how it is. And I think maybe once I get all the appliances back here and I scrape a lot of the white paint that I got along my, um, tile there, I'm thinking... That'll be better too. So we'll see how it looks with the final results. But so far, I'm trying to decide. Like, I'm, I have a slight bit of regret. I'm thinking maybe I should have gone with the black again. It's, it's looking pretty white, y'all. I don't feel like it's, from a distance, giving off a super, like, marbly, granity look. I, maybe it's just me. I may end up redoing this again. When I got done with the black, it looked so incredible and amazing. And it's kind of funny because I'm looking at the before and after pictures and I'm like, oh, it looked better before other than those scratches everywhere. I'm like, maybe I should have just gone with the black again. But I don't know. We'll see the final look. <laughs> and we'll go from there. I'm going to show you guys up kind of up close how it's looking while it's drying. I don't feel like it looks exactly like it did on the box. I mean, you can see the stone look. There's a lot of texture issues. Um, part of that, I think, is covering up my old 
Kit where I did this because my counters, you know, where it was starting to peel before, it's hard to cover on top of that texture. But, and I will be scraping off all that white off of the, the tile when it dries. But yeah, it's just, it's giving more of like a cement block look to me than it is granite stone like what what it looked like on the box cover. This side looks good. I mean, you know, I guess it has that like slate look to it. I see people's homes that have slate in it and it does have that same, especially from a distance, it gives off like a slate white look. I just don't think it looks like it did on the box. Okay guys, here is the final look. Um, yeah. I'm kind of digging it. It's taking a little bit to get used to, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to try to decorate it, um, put everything back where it was before. Okay guys, here it is. It is all finished. Dishes are still dirty. At least it's a little better <laughs> in the sink. And here she is. I don't know my review on this guys I'm not as happy with this one as I was the first one I'll be honest with you um, if I had it to do over I would either pick the black again or I would have gone maybe with a little more of like a tan granite the white is so hard to hide it's already showing through spots and I also had spots that came through from before where I have cleaned down these countertops um, before I painted and everything but I think what was left before that I couldn't see with black and some of the peeled paint maybe that was chipping, it's starting to kind of come through a couple of these spots in the high traffic area again. So that's a bummer because it really shows through on the white. It's gonna be impossible to clean. Um, so I think I'm gonna be end up being, I'm going to end up doing it over again probably eventually. Um, it looks good. It's kind of not quite what I had in mind but I think it works for now. I do like the white in that it opens it up a little bit more in here I think. Um, you know it's light and airy but again it's hard to see the slate like look. I really wanted it to be a little more granity. The part that you put at the end you know that protects it that clear film it's supposed to give it that gloss look of granite. I don't think that it was as impressive. I may be redoing them again um, eventually, but at least you got to see what it's like. When I got that other kit, it was the same process, so you kind of see what it's like and all. Um, and I'm going to try to find it and put it down below if it's still out there and make a note in the captions that that's the one that I probably prefer. And so if and when I redo these again, I'm going to choose that brand instead of this one. I do think it was a little bit better, better quality. So anyway, that wraps it up though. I hope you enjoyed watching this and learned something new that this is an option out there for you. Um, so check it out if you have a similar project you want to do. Um, it really does work when you use the right kit. It could just be that I'm doing this on top of the old and I might have needed to like scrape everything down and sand it first or something. That could have been the issue too. Um, but it is an awesome option if you're doing it for the first time, I think. And I think that especially if you wanted to go with some deeper colors that hide imperfections a little better. Um, I don't know if I could recommend the white as much. So anyway, that wraps it up. Um, hope you enjoyed today's episode and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.